welcome to Craft and Chat, Tuesday the 7th of July. I'm Amanda Farmer, this is Inspiring Inkin. How are we today? Um, if you're here, do uh, leave me a comment or send me some hearts. Let me know where you're from um, and what you've been up to since last I saw you and I am just going to see if, <laughs> if I'm live in the right place. The day I'm having, we'll see. So, da da da. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> look like I'm live. Let me just check the camera. Yeah, apparently I'm live and I'm on the right page. Hmm. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm live, but it's not showing on my page. That's just so strange. <laughs> if you're here, welcome. Yeah. Right, let me see if I can turn that around. there. Okay, goodness me. Yes, we're all live. Everyone's here. Um, I'm just going to get a scarf to prop up my iPad because it's not working properly. Hang on. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, right. Okay. So, everyone's here. Oh. <laughs> Even I'm here. Hooray. Okay, so let's see who's here. Sally's here, Trisha's here, Ros is here, Michelle's here, Debbie's here, Vivian's here, Anne's here, Maureen's here, Julia's here, Val's here, Sheridan's here. Woo! So we've got Wet Yorkshire in the house, we've got Pontypridd in the house, we've got Minnesota in the house. Good. Ros, I'm so pleased you can see and hear me because that was just really weird. I kept pressing refresh and I wasn't coming up. And France is in the house. Hi, Sarah. And Nicola's here. And my mum's here. Hello. <sighs> so how are we all today? How has your week been since last we spoke? Let me know what you have been getting up to. Um, and, you know, have you, have you been out to the pub? Have you had your hair cut? <laughs> I haven't done either of those things. Um, my haircut is booked for the 23rd of July, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm going to let Brian attack it again because it's just getting to that point where it needs cutting, but then I'm thinking, well, I need to, I need to let the hairdresser actually have something to attack, so I think I'll probably wait. So let me know, um, let me know how things are going. Um, Sarah, am I still fuzzy or am I okay now? That's what I'd like to know. Okay, so last week I did tell you I was going on an adventure this week um, in between the time when I've seen you and, and back and uh, yeah, so I thought I would tell you about my adventure and my world and whilst you're sort of sending me um, all, of, all of the... Um, messages about what you've been up to. What have you been making? What have you been eating? <laughs> yeah, I need to know all these things. What What are you doing? What have you been up to? Um, so, on Friday, my eldest, which is Connor, left for Sheffield. And he's moving, he's moved up there with his girlfriend. Um, and Brian and I drove the van. <laughs> I say Brian and I. Brian drove the van and I did all the navigating and the supplying of snacks 
and the incessant chatter so that when we <laughs> were up really really late I kept him awake. Um, yeah so uh, 500 odd miles round trip over the space of a couple of days. Um, so we we took them up there and they've been getting their lives sorted out and oh yeah it's it's been a bit of a whirlwind actually and and now I have an empty nest so that's kind of a bit weird and yeah I'm very excited for him he's they've they're renting this lovely little Victorian two up two down in Sheffield and it's it's just really funny because my daughter Kim is in Manchester Connor's in Sheffield and I'm from Nottingham originally as is Brian so that's kind of a home area I guess um, but my dad was born in Sheffield um, uh, not very far away from where Connor's moved to so yeah it's, it's just kind of weird that we're all the way down here and they're up there um, but they're happy and they're settled and you know they're doing all the great things let me just put one light on here um you know they're they're building their home which is just amazing really they're gathering all their supplies we had a four hour event going to ikea because obviously we had the van so we could get the big stuff in the van um yeah ikea was just just took a long time because obviously everything's so much slower. So I'm back here and currently it's me and the dog on Tuesdays because um, Brian works in the office and the rest of the time it's just me and Brian and the dog rattling around. So mm, it's a bit weird, it's a bit weird. Right, so let me let me see what you are telling me. So Debbie's made 25 journals for her church youth group. That's that's a really great thing. Ros is having a haircut tomorrow. Oh, Ros, I'm so pleased for you. I know you've been wanting to do that. Julia's had a haircut. Val has got a haircut booked for Friday and hasn't been to the pub. <gasps> Jackie, you made some scones. Ooh, yeah, I'm thinking about scones. Julie's been away in her caravan. That's brilliant. Um, oh, Chris is busy making a loaf in her bread maker, but the power's gone out. Oh, that's all a bit crazy. Um, Jackie, no, my son's not studying. No, 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 he's, he's moved up there to live. Um, yeah, he's, he's a graphic designer, um, and his girlfriend is an illustrator. They're both self-employed, they both have their own businesses, and, and Sheffield is where they wanted to move to. So, you know, I mean, they could have moved anywhere in the world, um, well, certainly anywhere in the UK at the moment, obviously. Um, but yeah, he's, that's where they've chosen to, to live. <laughs> Trish says you'll get I'll get used to the quiet they have a habit of coming back from time to time this I do know I do know so uh, we had a bit of a practice run last summer he was away for three months um, and Kim's Kim's been away for quite a long time but she's coming to visit tomorrow so that's really cool um, so she's gonna be here for a few days um, with Dom so so that's good um, I'm not sure that she knows that Brian has plans to put them to work in the garden. <laughs> oh dear, which would be good. Um, so that'll be that'll be fun. But yeah, big for me, big adventure because we haven't been anywhere since we went into lockdown. Um, and you know, we stayed away for a whole night and everything. <laughs> Um, it just just felt really strange and for me that is really odd because we're always you know visiting people and going here there and everywhere um, but you know this whole new world we're in we just haven't haven't been anywhere um, obviously um, so let's have a look 
Oh, Jan's going to stay with her daughter this weekend. She hasn't seen her since January. Oh, Jan, that'll be lovely. Oh, and Jackie's been prepping some cards for her friends to make. That's a really lovely thing to do. Spread the crafting love. <laughs> and Val's top tip is watch the amount of food you cook or I'll be freezing lots. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, I I tend to over cater um, in, in my previous life. <laughs> I was a chef and a caterer and even all these years I always make too much food um yeah I just don't like people being hungry <laughs> so I just make things and encourage them to to eat um so yeah I I am going to be kind of keeping an eye on that because I don't want a freezer full of dinners um we need to kind of work our way through what's in the freezer already I reckon Oh, awesome. So let me tell you kind of what's going on with Stamping Up at the moment. Um, just, just, Bonus Days um, is running at the moment. So for the whole of July and actually three days of August, um, we have got a discount voucher. Um, for every £45 you spend, you get a voucher for £4.50. Um, so it's like 10% of your shopping, um, but it's in £45 increments. So £45, £90, £135, £180 and so on. Um, you will get a voucher code, it'll be emailed to you and then you spend that in August. And obviously in August, oh, we've got the Autumn Winter Catalogue um, launching. And my pre-order, <laughs> shall I try that again? My pre-order arrived yesterday, which is very exciting. And there might be a little sneak peek coming up in a minute. So just keep your beady eyes out, see if you can see what, what it is. Um, so let's see. What else? Uh, oh, brilliant. Karen's daughter and grandson are arriving from France on Friday. Um, she's not seen them since Christmas. Um, Mandy sitting and sewing. And, <laughs> and clearly Facebook was playing games with Lynn because she couldn't find me, but she's here now. So that's good. Okay, so any questions about bonus days and the vouchers? Um, don't lose the vouchers, please. Um, I have this every every year that we do this. Um, I get emails going, I've lost my voucher codes. Um, I think the support team can probably help, um, but try not to lose them in the first place. That would be good. Um, yeah, and because it, you need, it's, you need to be able to copy and paste them into the website as otherwise if you try if you pr if you just do something like print them out they're really long and when you're typing in the codes it'll just take you forever so keep the emails safe uh lucy Ann's here judy's here brilliant okay so i am not expecting any deliver del <laughs> oh, 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 no. My words are just not working today. I'm not expecting any deliveries today, but I have got my dinosaur leggings on. So don't be shocked if I have to go and answer the door because um, I've got yoga to do because it didn't, that didn't happen this morning. It's been crazy. Um, lots, lots and lots of, of emails and, and things and phone calls and stuff today. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's been a busy, 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 busy old day. So let me tell you what we're going to be crafting today. Um, and I've just realised my Tombow isn't on my desk, so I'm going to have to use my snail glue, my old glue. Um, yeah, I am going to be talking today about this. Whisper 
DIY crafting and then we'll be showing you a couple of things that we can do with this. Um, this is the only ink that Stamping Up sell that is a pigment ink. So I have talked about inks before um, here on Craft and Chat, um, but the Craft Ink, the, this Whisper White Craft Ink is a pigment ink, which means it's really, really slow drying. Um, so you do need to be careful with it when you're stamping with it. Um, because it, it dries really slowly. So it's not like our normal inks. So these are dye-based inks and these dry really quickly. So this dries slowly, this dries quickly. This means there are lots of other things you can do with it, um, but speed isn't really one of them. Okay, so like I said, I've got a couple of uh, techniques to show you um and let me just see so sally's here sally can you can you just check or any of my team actually can you just check in the autumn winter catalog if ooh, these stars these little coppery stars are back in the autumn winter catalog I'm I'm 99% sure they are but I've just had a moment going oh maybe they're not um would you just check for me and leave me a message so that when I do my first card I can tell people that they can get them as opposed to not being able to get them okay right this is one of the huge bonuses of my lovely team <laughs> they're used to me they know that um, they, they, they help me out because they're awesome. They're just fabulous. So let's have a look. Um, Joanne's here. Sarah says there are some hanging stars. Yeah, so these are the, these stars were part of the Baubles collection which was from last year um and it's it's come back so i think i think they're in the catalogue but i just i just need to know um so if you just put a, a message in saying yes amanda the stars are in or something like that that would be awesome okay so whilst i've got the team going through the whole catalogue trying to find them um, <laughs> i'm going to turn the camera around and do some crafting so i'm just going to cover you over for a second it's all going to go green um and then we will get started right i'm going to use move my water out of the way because that is a disaster waiting to happen to do Ooh. turn you around let's see let's have a look all right let me move that scarf out of the way okay so i'm just gonna move you a little bit further over so you can see everything Let's turn the light down as well. So I'm hoping you will be able to see everything nice and clearly. Okay. Yeah, let me know if everything is okay. So let's just start out. Oh, Sally, superstar. Okay, so the answer is that yes, they are in the uh, autumn. Uh, no, they're in the annual catalogue, not the autumn one. Awesome. Thanks, Sally. Um, okay, so I'm not going to use something that <laughs> that you can't get. That's all right. Right, I've just brought you down a bit closer. Hopefully that will, will help. Okay, so 
let's talk about this craft ink. Okay, so uh, craft ink um, comes in um, a, a normal ink pad case, but when it comes to you, it will come dry. There will be no ink on the ink pad and you'll get a bottle of craft ink with it. Now, what you need to do is ink it. Um, obviously, this one's got ink on it, but I want to show you the consistency of this ink. Um, so I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to show you. I'm going to kind of try and do it on an angle. Um, it is really thick ink. It's like golden syrup or honey, I guess. If you're not a Brit, you won't know what golden syrup is. Um, but it is, or treacle, I guess, treacle. I don't know, does treacle translate across the borders? Um, but you do have to give it a bit welly to get the ink out. Whereas our normal ink just kind of flows out really easily. Now, um, you can use a, a bone folder. I tend to use the back of a spoon and just massage it into the ink pad. Um, some people use a knife, but I'm always afraid of cutting the foam, so I use the back of a spoon. Okay. Right, let me look. Ah, so the Aussies know about golden syrup. That's good to know. Yeah, golden syrup is food of the gods. The um, the ginger cake that I made the other day had loads of golden syrup in it. It was delicious. Okay, so that is how um, you ink up the stamp. Um, Judy's asking if we use the whole bottle. No, absolutely not. Um, about... A third of the bottle I think on, on a dry ink pad um, try that and see how you go but basically you want it to be tacky but you don't want it to be really runny um, yeah it does look like drips of plaster yeah it's just really gooey okay so one of the most most fabulous things, <laughs> one of the best things about um, this ink is that it ooh, stamps on dark card. And I'm going to show you. I just need to make this card blank. Let me just score that. So this is Misty Moonlight. Um, and I'm actually going to be stamping on Night of Navy. Now, normally with a white ink, you would not be able to stamp on um, Night of Navy. It just would not work. Um, you know, it just wouldn't wouldn't show up. Um, but it does. Okay. So I'm just looking for my stamping mat, which isn't there. So I need to get it because I'm using photopolymer stamp. All right, so there we go. Photopolymer stamps, you need a stamping mat. So I'm gonna stamp this tree and for those of you that know the catalogue inside out, is this a tree that you've seen before, I ask you? Look at that, isn't that cool? 
And is this a season's greetings that you've seen before? Ta -da. And the answer will be no. Because, ta da! Here is a brand new stamp set. It's called In the Pines. There are dies that go with it. It is stunning. So quick, have a quick look. I love trees. You're going to be seeing a lot of this. I'm going to take it away now. Ta-da, it's gone. Right, so I'm just going to put that to one side a minute and just show you what I mean about the ink smudging. Okay, if I put my finger on this now, it's going to smudge. It's going to smudge. Okay, so you need to leave this for a while. And by a while, normally I wouldn't do what I'm going to do now, which is put some ribbon on it. Um, normally I would wait um, an hour, a couple hours. It's not very warm here in, in the UK today. Um, so it'll just take a bit of time. But obviously what I'm trying to do is not touch anything that's wet. So this is Misty Moonlight Ribbon. And it is stunning, love it. So let me pull that. Jenny says, or if the cat walks across it, yeah. The cat walking across it is not good. Okay, so um, what I am going to do, I'm gonna put one of these stars, which we now know are in the catalogue and I'm just going to show you this I will stick it later um, but I am just going to show you um, what a cool card that is I don't want to stick it right now <laughs> because if I stick it and turn it over I'm going to smudge it so you can stamp with this and it is white on dark card so if you've ever wanted to do snow on your cards um, this is the ink for you. Okay, so Val says she needs to look again. She didn't notice that set. That was it was one of the first sets on my list, Val. Um, so I love it. So I'll just pop that to one side for now. And that was just kind of an aside <laughs> because I started doing um, the card for today and decided that um, I needed to show you different things to do with that white ink. So I am just going to get myself another card blank. Do, do, do. For this next card. Okay, so does anyone have Whisper White Ink already? Does anyone like it? Used it? So <laughs> Jenny is asking how long does it take to dry? I would give it an hour or so, a couple hours maybe. Um, if you're doing uh, Christmas cards and you're doing like a mass production, I tend to do them in the morning, go off, have my lunch and then come back and stick them in the afternoon. So a couple hours. Um, if you want to be really, really, really sure, then leave it overnight. Um, so questions about the colours that I've used. This is um, Misty Moonlight. And this is Night of Navy. Okay, so Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. And, you know, you guys know me. I love my blue. Um, so, yeah, anything with blue is right up my, right up my alley. 
Okay, so Sarah says she uses it to make snow splatters with water. Awesome. I'm pleased you said that, Sarah, because that is the next thing I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay, so I have got some um, ink on here and some water, she says. Ooh. Okay, so you need to make it quite runny. And then there are several ways you can make splatters, depending on how messy you want to get. Okay. And this is this is my favourite way, <laughs> but this is the messiest way. Okay, so I load up my, my brush and then I flick. And you'll get big splatters and little splatters. So I'll bring it up to the camera. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the, the fine splatters. Yeah, you, you can see the fine splatters there. Okay, so that's the messiest way. Let's just go this way. If you like to be a bit more controlled and you don't want ink all over your fingers, do it this way. But I have to say, the ink tends to go further. So what you can't see off camera over, over there is my stand and that is now covered in white splats. But I like this, let me bring this up because it's bigger splats. Yeah, so it's really cool. So it makes great snow. Now, a lot of the stamps, so in this in the pines, you've got, you have got snow spots, um, but that does tend to give you quite a um, regimented, gives you regimented snow. And if you, if you, like me, prefer a bit more randomness to your snow, then that's how you do it. Um, okay, so lots of people saying that they've got the ink, but they don't use it very often. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's one of those things that we have. I'm just going to clean my stand a minute while I'm chatting. Um, it's one of those things that you have, you get it, you use it, and then you put it away. So do do this. Um, so Roz is saying it's on her list. Um, Jenny, no, my eyes are absolutely green. That's why, <laughs> so green is my second favourite colour after blue. And Sarah, yes, you did read my mind. Jenny, can you dry the ink with a heat tool? Yes, you can. Um, it will it will help speed up the drying process if you use a heat tool. Hi, Marion. She's here as well. And Rosie's. Rosie's arrived too. OK, so that's two different things that you can do with your Whisper White ink. And now what we are going to do is something called whitewash. And what I've got here is a heat embossed image. Now I've used Morning Magnolia, Good Morning Magnolia, and this is a great stamp for this technique because it's quite open. You don't really want a stamp that has um, the... Uh, hmm that the flowers or whatever you're doing are really small. You need quite a large area to be able to paint inside. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the Whisper White Craft Ink and a little drop of water 
and you don't want very much okay you want a little bit you want it to be able to move but you don't want a lot um, so you're just making it a bit more fluid and then what I'm going to do is I am going to paint this white ink all over this embossed image and on this one um, I'm just going to do the flower I think because then you'll be able to see the finished effect quite quickly okay so you can do this with um, a paintbrush I'm using an aqua painter um, which is a product that we used to sell and um, you can't you can't really see it now most of it's rubbed off but it did used to say white craft ink only so I would sort of designated an aqua painter just for doing this type of technique so let me just finish doing that little bit and we're just going to let it dry a second now because I've heat embossed it the ink won't um, stick over stick um, yeah the, the ink will be resisted if you like by the embossing so it will sort of once it's dry I can lift it off okay so I'm just going to go over there again and what you're going to need to do is go over it two or three times to get full coverage okay um trish um you're asking can you use it with embossing powder i'm guessing you mean the ink this ink um and if so yes absolutely you can um because it's slow drying you will be able to um heat emboss with it i tend to use versamark just because that's what i always use um, but yes, you can heat emboss with it. Okay, so this is kind of this whitewashed effect. So I have one I did earlier. Okay, so you can see now i'm going to just give it a bit of a buff over you'll be able to see that what it does is it looks like chalk it, it is the best way that i can describe it it looks like a chalk image and so it it works beautifully so you could Let's just get a happy birthday out and some vanilla card. How I've literally opened an ink pad and I'm covered in ink. Just crazy. This ink pad has obviously been overly zealously filled with ink. So let's just pop that out. So you can just pop on a happy birthday, Matt and layer it, and it looks lovely. It's crumb cake cardstock. Yes, it is, um, Sarah. Sorry, um, it's crumb cake that I've I've put it on. But what you can do is you can add colour to this. Now this is one of the best things for me 
um, about it. You have to wait until it's dry. Okay, don't try and do this when it's not dry. Um, but you can add colour. And I'm just going to add a little bit here in the centre of this magnolia. And then I'm going to use a different uh, water brush to just spread out that colour. Now these are the new water brushes that Stamping Up sell. So this is the old style. This is the Aqua Painter. Um, and then they now come in a set of three. Um, there's a huge brush, a skinny one, which is one I'm going to use, and a fat one. And they come in a set and I'm going to be doing a video on those so that will be up fairly shortly on one of my Friday videos. Um, but I'm just going to use this just so I've got a little bit of water there. And I'm just going to go over this and all I'm doing is kind of blending it. So the best way I can describe it, I'm blending the marker with the white ink underneath and it just softens it out a little bit. So I'm just going to put a bit more. Oh, that, that's the wrong pink. Let's try this <laughs> with the right pink. Okay, so if you've got like watercolour pencils, that will work. But look, look how lovely that is. It's just really, really soft. And then I'm going to use my pair. And I'm actually going to make these quite dark um, just to make them stand out a bit. Now, can you see on the tip there, this is just beginning to lift some of the white craft ink. So I'm just going to just wipe it off my marker and then go back. If that worries you, if getting a bit of craft ink on the end of your marker worries you, the other way to do it is to do a squiggle onto a block and then pick it up with the ink pad and then you can, you can kind of paint with it. Look at this. It, it kind of gives you that whole chalk effect. I just, it's, it's so cool. Right, oh. and I'm just going to carry on painting just for a second and then I will look at the comments because I can see out the corner of my eye the comments are scrolling so um, I obviously need to respond to them. So let me just finish this bit off. I am going to add a tiny bit more green in a minute with my ink pad when I can find it. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, hi Emma. Yes, Sarah. So the brushes do all have reservoirs and um, they're quite a lot bigger. Um, and the brushes themselves are quite a lot longer. Um, they work really well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with them. So, oh, Jenny, so you're going back into lockdown. I just, I saw the news. Melbourne's back in, is it Melbourne? It's back in lockdown. Um, yeah, yeah, Melbourne. Um, I'm really sorry I've, I was watching that on the news this morning. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to pick up 
a bit more ink there and just give this just a bit more depth of colour because I can and because I'm liking talking to you. <laughs> just nice to be able to do this type of therapeutic colouring in. Last one, last one, and then that's gone too dark. Okay, so let's let me just show you how to how to fix that. So, squash your water brush, get the colour off it, and just run your brush over the top and wipe it off. Run your brush over and wipe it off. And basically all this is doing is it's just giving you this chalk chalk effect. Um, it's like painting with chalk. Okay, so let me just see. I'm actually going to trim that down. I want to put it on a green mat. Cut some of the stem off. Eek. On top. Oh, Sarah says she's going to try with the peony garden stamp it's interesting because I did pick that out um, and I was going to use that um, and I think it's it will look fabulous the reason I didn't use it was um, because on camera definitely this magnolia stamp is easier to see um, but I'm sure it'll look lovely. I shall await to see your creation, Sarah. Who? Da -da -da. Got to decide what greeting to put on this in a second. I'm just going to get rid of that messy grid paper <laughs> and try that. So let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I'm not happy with that because that is vanilla. Vanilla is no good when I've got white. Yeah, that is white. I was going to say I thought I'd bought white and vanilla. So let's have a look. Let's see which colour we want. <laughs> Anne says, I love, she loves the way I confidently slice bits off. <laughs> okay, so Anne, that's because I know exactly what size all these layers are. So I don't know whether you've seen, I've done a video on mats and layers. So I cut um, A4 cardstock down to eight inches by 11 and a half. And I know for a lot of people that's sacrilege, but I do because I want a card blank that's four inches wide by five and three quarter inches tall. And I then know that the next layer is three and three quarters by five and a half. And the next layer is three and a half by five and a quarter and so on. So I knew what size I needed to make that. Um, that's yeah it's it's just practice but it's it's also just because I know that those layers are always that size so let's 
play with that. I think that will work. Um, but just in case, because you know, you might want a different happy birthday. Let's see. Punch this out. So let's have a look. Do, 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 do. So Marion cuts her A4 to 29 centimetres, so you don't have to work with the fiddly bits, I know. Right, so what do we like? Do we like the green? Do we like the pink? Hmm, tricky. Tricky, tricky. I don't know. I don't know, but whilst we're deciding, I'm just going to play with this. Jenny is saying she just became Bronze Elite. Congratulations, Jenny. Um, I normally do this with a sponge dauber. But if you don't have a sponge dauber, you can edge your cardstock with your aqua painter. Chris is saying pink. Jackie's saying pink. Joanne saying pink. Well, da -da 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 -da. yeah, so all the messages are coming back as pink. Okay, so I'm going to put pink on then <laughs> because that's what you want. Okay, so let's. See where my snail's gone. <laughs> Green gold. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so Jenny says what she does is she rolls the edge of the card onto the ink pad. Now I have done that before, Jenny, but if the cardstock's sharp, you can, on these foam pads, you can cut into it. So you can, but just be careful. Yeah, so let me just show you. This is what Jenny means. Like that. Okay. So, there we go. So there is that card. Um, what I do, <laughs> what I do want to say is what I'm probably going to do actually is lift that off and put an extra gold mat underneath it. And I think that's probably what Sarah was saying that that's what I needed to do. <laughs> so, um, when you see the picture later, it may well have extra bits on it. We'll see. So I did just want to show you this card. Um, um, and this is the Forever Blossoms card. Forever. <laughs> I'm going to have a slurp of my water because obviously my words are all coming out wrong again today. Um, so Forever Blossoms. So before I was saying, you know, this works really well because it's a big open stamp. This one is um, more difficult to paint, okay? So if you're going to do this one, make sure you've got a really fine tip. Not like this one, a really fat one. Does that make sense? Because you'll never get that in the little tiny holes. Um, but I am, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour this in just quickly. Um, whilst, whilst I'm, or whilst we're chatting, um, just so I can see if you've got any more questions. 
about this technique or what I've been doing. So I can show you how I do it without um, without using the markers. And whenever I'm watercolouring, I've always got a piece of, of tissue, or you can use a piece of cloth. If you, if you want to save the planet and not use so much kitchen roll, just get a bit of cloth. Um, and then I'm just going to do this. Actually, let me just give that a squish. Lots of lovely comments, thank you. I don't want to get ink on that card, so let me move that there. Okay, so colour of the pink and green cardstock. So this is Blushing Bride and Pear Pizzazz. And that's the colours of the inks that I've been been using. Um little bud that's so cool um i'm actually going to color in all of the flowers so with the magnolia i've just um left part of it but on this one i'm just going to finish just keep doing all of the petals again just because it's so little um rose is asking does it pull the cardstock no, um, it doesn't pill, um, just don't use a lot of water. Um, let me just tilt this up. No, no, it's gone. It's a bit fluffy. It's not as smooth as it was, you know, once it was, um, when it came out of the packet. So, you know, but you're going to expect that because the um, you, you're putting water on it. But just don't keep going over and over and over it. That's kind of the trick, really. Look, there we go. Let's go over those bits there. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to lift that up a little bit and you'll probably be able to see just here, it is going a little bit fluffy. I'll just pull a bit more light over the subject to see if that helps. Okay, right, so let's have a look I needed just whilst I'm kind of doing this let me just stick this one together and then I will answer all of your questions and then I will leave you for the rest of the afternoon so let's have a look da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, so there is your white on blue card, and there is your painted painted watercolour wash technique card. Okay, so let's just have a look um, at the comments. So Judy's done a similar technique using thin bleach, um, but she likes this one with uh, the white ink. Yeah, um, bleach is is actually a technique that I may well cover at some point. Um, it's it is lots of fun, um, but it does give you a slightly different effect. Val's going to try it and see what a mess she can make. You'll have fun, Val. I'm sure it won't be a mess. Um, Jen. Uh, she wants to get some paper, the world of good paper. It's out of stock. Jen, I'll email you. Um, uh, what I'll do is I will double, I'll, I'll go um, on the website in a minute and double check. Um, 
it's in the main catalogue so we will be getting more stock um, but I might be able to give you a heads up of what date um, it might be in um, and lots of comments saying that this is lovely oh thank you brilliant okay so I think that is me finished for today um, and it's just gone three o'clock so that's perfect timing um, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me on a Tuesday um, I just I really appreciate it and um, I love love chatting with you all um, Mandy is asking if the Whisper White ink will work on fabric absolutely not <laughs> Mandy no it's a water-based ink it won't work on fabric um, it's your best bet is to buy either a fabric um, paint or a an ink that is specifically designed for fabric now um, there is an ink that I used to use um, in my pre stamping up days which may well still be available it's called Versa Craft um, look up that see if you can find that if not to be able to stamp um, your other option is to get a fabric paint and use a roller to put it on to your stamps and that will work but you need a specific fabric um, ink or paint and none of our uh, dye based inks will work on fabric the only one that will work is the black stays on ink um, and that will work on fabric okay so Jenny's saying it's after midnight here that's crazy the world is upside down isn't it um, so thank you so much thank you um, for all your comments um, yeah, Mandy's saying oh dear yeah but don't worry there are inks that you can use um, you'll yeah you'll be able to find them I'm sure okay so I'm going to love you and leave you I will see you back here next Tuesday at 2 for some more creative inspiration have a good week everybody take care and I'll see you again soon goodbye <laughs>